Hey guys, Happy Dude here, and here we have a blank pistol or a alarm pistol. It's called 1911 in chrome and it uses 8mm blank rounds, so it's like a normal bullet, but at the end there's nothing, just some plastic to hold all the gunpowder in. And all you get when you fire this is a big bang. Now, I always wondered what if we glue a steel BB to this, so a 4.5 millimeter steel BB, then it basically works like a pirate gun. Some gunpowder and in front of it we have a steel ball. Will this even work? Now if you buy a new blank gun today, the barrel inside will be sealed off, so nothing will come out of it. Uh, this is an older version, so this barrel is still open. You cannot buy this today because uh, it's not safe. That's why they don't make it like that anymore. And drilling it out will not work. It's a super hard material. Every drill will simply break. Okay, now let's see what happens with this piece of cardboard. For safety, I'm using a face mask and also I'm going to use these earplugs because it's going to be very loud. Here I will demonstrate just how dangerous a blank gun with an open barrel can be. So as you can see, now we have a nice big hole here. Uh, but of course that was from only 10 centimeters away. If we go any further, I think um, nothing will happen with the piece of cardboard. And this is the reason why they don't use these guns anymore for movies, because it's simply too dangerous. And there's also no damage whatsoever on the piece of wood behind the piece of cardboard. Okay, I'm going to try it again, but from 30 centimeters away. And as you probably also saw, the upper slide does not move anymore, so it's not a semi-automatic weapon anymore. That's what happens when you open up the barrel, because now the back pressure cannot move the slide anymore. So the cardboard still moved, but this time there's no hole. So I already tried super glue, it doesn't work, so we are gonna use epoxy glue. We're just going to mix it up a little bit here. And after that, you just wait for about a minute. And then we can apply some to the blank rounds. Okay, then we take some of that glue. Oops, I waited too long. Okay. That's on there. And now E steel BB. Okay. Like that. Make sure it's nice in the middle. And then I'm going to make a few of those. Oh, and do not try to convert this gun into a real gun with real bullets because this is not made out of hardened steel. It's just zinc. So you will hurt yourself. Okay, let's see if we can penetrate this plastic number plate holder. I know my airsoft guns cannot, and even my air guns with uh, steel BBs cannot penetrate this piece of plastic. Okay, apparently we have a dot. Um, or the bullet is not positioned right because there's a steel BB in the way when that happens wait a few seconds because it can still go off 
um, and after 30 seconds take the magazine out then release the slide so the round can fall out that's safety 101 guys I know this because I am trained with real firearms all right let's take a look no way oh yeah it penetrated and this is very very strong plastic oh whoa 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 not only did it penetrate this piece of plastic but look at the wood that's some serious damage because next to it you can see what a normal steel BB does with a CO2 pistol so yeah it's uh, pretty effective now to show you I'm not lying here's my Colt 1911 with the same 4.5 millimeter steel BBs so let's put a super fresh CO2 can in there I'm going to do it all in real time without editing so you know I'm not lying okay the steel BBs all are already in there okay same distance see we have a little mark here but it did not made it through the plastic now even from point blank range I don't think it's going to penetrate this piece of plastic let's try okay let's take a look nope it still did not made it through there now I tried to measure the FPS but it simply didn't work because the steel BBs uh, do not fly in a straight line. I tried a few times but it didn't work. But watch this. When I was testing the FPS one of the steel BBs made it through the wooden panel and hit my gate right here and you can actually feel the imprint in this steel plate so it's in the second row now let's watch the other side oh wow here it is in the second row and it almost made it true it's very pointy wow now when I look at that damage uh, I'm guessing this is well over a thousand FPS. So I'm pretty surprised by the result and uh, shocked actually that it was this powerful. Uh, but it's not very useful in the real world. Uh, sometimes the steel BBs just fall off uh, or the bullet gets stuck and it's not accurate at all. So it was just a fun experiment. So thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and maybe subscribe to see more. And you all have a nice day now. Bye.